Hey guys, it's Nerd Rooster coming back at you with another video. And I just got a pretty big level. I got 90 magic. I didn't even expect it. I was just alking some stuff here at Glad Eye. So now I can use Seismic Wand and Singularity, but that's a long, long way off on that one. Just because it costs a fortune for it. But I believe I can also use a Noxious Staff too, which isn't that much of a stretch. Also, I'm going to be changing the series goal to achieving uh, dual dry gores because I'm not going to have time this summer and during the school year to be trying to save up 200 mil to buy ascension crossbows. I thought I would have more time this summer to do that, and that's why I set that goal. But work's been pretty crazy, so yeah, it's just going to be dry gores because that's only about 50 mil, which is pretty manageable. Alright, well, I'm going to finish up this trip, and then I'll probably do a Slayer assignment. Alright. Alright, <clears throat> here we go. This is the kill, and let's see. Ah, uh, this isn't the last kill on my trip, but there will be a milestone coming up. There we go, I just achieved 90 defense. I just, yeah, now I have tier 90 armor. That's pretty cool. Not really much there, just a bunch of stuff. Alright, well, I guess then... I will be back in a little while once I finish this trip. I'm getting a really good amount of money. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, my trip is finished. And I'm going to do a quick price check on all this stuff. Should come out to be a lot of money. It's already a good amount. Then I add, add one million one hundred and thirty. Okay, there we go. So I made almost five mil that trip. Not bad at all. Whoops. All right, I'll be back with my death with my death task. Alright, I just got a Zammy task. I think I'm actually going to go with that because Zammy is always fun. So yeah, I will do that tomorrow then. Alright, bye. Alright, I just finished my death assignment. Oh, man, that was a lot easier than I remember Zamorak being. He's super, super, super easy with Soul Split and uh, Anguish. Like, wow. I didn't really get any good drops. Total loot was not that impressive. Granted, this is from 22 kills, so 672k. Not bad. Plus, I got... 15 Slayer points. Can't really argue with that. And since I'm in my mage setup, I might as well do my Slayer task, which is Muzpa, which I will do later tonight. Alright. Alright guys, I'm getting my new uh, death task for the day, and I cannot kill Araxor, so I'm going to skip that task. Hopefully, I'll get Grardor or Krill. <laughs> Chaos Elemental, I guess I'll do that. It's an easy enough uh, task. It just is annoying because there's no profit. And that was my brother Nat, by the way. He's a bit of a joker sometimes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bye. Alright, I'm back. They must have changed the Chaos Elemental spawn speed because that task was really quick. I seem to remember there being a lot of time in between each spawn, but... That was really easy.
Uh, yeah, Chaos Elemental is shit money, but I already knew that, so, you know. 62k in the bank, I think I'm gonna go do some more Rari, since I already have pretty much a full good inventory set up for it already. Alright, be back when I'm done with that trip. Hey guys, I'm back, I'm gonna get another death task, although I'm probably not gonna do it tonight, just because I've been working... Oh, Kriar, I can do that. I've just been working like crazy today. I worked 13 hours, so I haven't really had too much time to do anything. Um, hopefully, I'll get around to doing it tomorrow night. I'm going to be hanging out with some friends, though, at around 10-ish, so we'll see. I should be able to get that done. 20 kills won't take long at all. It'll take like 30 minutes at the longest. And while I'm here, I will do my treasure hunter. Just to get that out of the way. Here we go. Let's see. Ooh, hopefully we get the 50 magic no paper. Magic no paper is always good. Super attacks. Uh, I guess I'll just bank it and I can sell them, worst case scenario, because I only need three dose ones for extremes. So let's, ooh, silver hawk feathers, oh my gosh, those are actually worth a lot of money. Let me go sell those and I'll see how much I get, I think the last one. Of those I got was like 900k, so I could actually get over, yeah, I'll definitely get over 10 mil with that. See how much exactly I get, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, this is actually going by very fast now, since I don't have to buy any more gear or supplies or anything. So let's just sell these. I mean, they're worth like 25k each. That's kind of ridiculous. All right. Sell these. We'll do 24k each. I'm not too greedy. And it's sold for the, for the full pr full price. That's actually kind of surprising. So now I actually have almost 11 mil, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't really need anything else right now as far as gear is concerned. Like, yeah, I could get some Armadale, but I don't really need it because Royal is decent enough. And Ganodermic is good enough mage gear, and I already have full bandos, so there's really nothing I need there. So pretty much from this point on, it's just me saving up for that, uh, for those dry gores, which will not take very long at all, since I'm already at 11 mil, like, I can just camp Rorari and do death tasks, like, I'm pretty close to getting, uh, a uh hydrix um let's see let's just look at slayer hmm is there a thing for reaper points so i can check how much i actually have no there isn't that's fine though oh yeah yeah, I have 152 Reaper points, so I'm like halfway there to getting a Hydrix. So, that will be easy enough to get. And that will be 14 mil added on to that. So, by the time I get my Hydrix, I should definitely have my uh, main hand Drygore Rapier by that time. And I'll then have... A good chunk of the way done to my offhand one. Alright, well, I will see you guys tomorrow when I do my Kriara trip. Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, 
when I logged into my computer, it said that it was going to automatically restart today for a Windows upgrade. So, yeah, this video is going to be a lot shorter than most of my videos are. Uh, I'm still going to try to do my Arma trip. Uh, hopefully, I can get that done easily enough. It shouldn't be extremely hard. I mean, it's just like 20 kills, so I should be able to get it done. Uh, before my computer restarts. I'm not entirely sure when that will be. But, yeah. Just gonna buy some potion flasks so I can make some, uh... Some more, uh... Overload flasks and stuff. Because pretty much every inventory space matters when you are, uh when you're bossing pretty much really don't have that much luxury as far as having a lot of space and I should have enough super restores there that should be fine um I'll be back when I finish killing Criara all right man Criara is a bitch even with uh soul split and uh Anguish. I still have 11 kills left after I did that. I don't really know how, but somehow, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to get those next time. I'm not going to bring as many prayer pots. I'm going to bring six, and hopefully those two extra food will allow me to stay another kill. And I was really unlucky with food drops. I mean... Let's check this out. Let's check this ancient effigy out that I got. Source of binding essence and spirits fills your mind. Runecrafting and summoning. Ah, darn it. So I'm going to need to get assistance for that because my summoning isn't that high. Or I could just train summoning. I think I'll do that because I'm going to be doing that soon anyhow, so... But let's check this out, as far as price checker is concerned. I didn't get any unique drops, really. This is all I got from those first kills. So that's like 45k. That's absolutely shit. Then look at this. I made, like, four times the amount in, like, a quarter of the time that I was there. So, yeah. Armadillo is shit money. I mean, granted, if you get a drop, then you sort of have made up for your losses, but yeah. So I'm going to go bank, get some more food, and then, yeah. I don't have any more, so I'll just get some more food real quick, and I'll be back for the last 10 kills. Or 11 kills.